Why shouldn't we register guns so that when a crime is committed, we can trace who has owned it? You know, I, I understand how you feel. Um, this is a really contentious issue, probably as contentious and potentially as troubling as the abortion issue in this country. Uh, all I can tell you is rush, it rushes to pass legislation at a time of national crisis or mourning. I don't really think are, are proper. And, and more importantly, nothing in any of this legislation would have done anything to prevent that awful tragedy in Littleton. What well, I see in the work I've done with kids is, is a troubling direction in our culture and where I see consensus, which is what I think we ought to concentrate on in, 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 in our culture is, look, nobody argues anymore whether they're conservatives or liberal, whether our society is going in the wrong direction. They may argue trying to quantify how far it's gone wrong or why it's gone that far wrong, whether it's guns or television or the Internet or whatever. But there's consensus saying that something's happened. Guns were much more accessible 40 years ago. A kid could walk into a pawn shop or a hardware store and buy a high-capacity magazine weapon that could kill a lot of people, and they didn't do it. The question we ought to be asking is, look, suicide is a tragedy. And, and, and it's a horrible thing, but 30 or 40 years ago, particularly men and even young men, when they were suicidal, they went and unfortunately blew their brains out. In today's world, uh, someone who is suicidal sits home, nurses their grievance, develops a rage, and is just as suicidal, but they take 20 people with them. There's something changed in our culture.